Good morning. Have I lost my marbles? No. Right, this is 1938 EFE tube stock. And what you get to connect the carriages together, the middle carriages, is a coupling like this. Now, when you come to take it apart on a track, it's a two-man job and a nightmare. You've got to lay it on its side. There's a risk of collateral damage. Anyway, I bought these Hunt Elite close couplings, and you can see this one here. But what you can see is they are slightly too long. These ultra close couplings for here. But what I've done is, is where the chamfer is, where it stops the coupling going back into here, I've filed it off and I've pushed the coupling in, and there's the file I use, small file, and pushed the coupling in and glued it with PVA glue. And you might think I've lost my marbles, possibly. But with PVA glue, if you want to remove them, you just put hot water on them and the glue uses its adhesive qualities and away you go. And what you use to remove them is a pipette with hot water and I think it works great. But the thing is with these, they're very delicate. To disconnect them, to lift four off is a nightmare, especially in a confined space, unless you've got acres behind your model railway. Two man job really. And to connect them on the track if you take them apart is a hassle. And I believe this is a satisfactory way of doing this. I don't expect hunt couplings to make coupling specially for this model, even if I ask them to, because with only around 500 units or whatever it is, it's not that many. By the time you've done the development, setting up and manufacturing costs, is it worth it? And secondly, would everybody who's got one of these want to do it? Want to use these couplings? Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll show you the effect of my little modification. Thank you. Well, you've seen my little modification to this rolling stock. So, I'm going to put one, two cars on the track really easy, easily. I remember before I've had to have messed around with an intermediate coupling, which was nothing but grief. To be honest, I had to have help to put these on the track. The job I'm doing with these wheels, I probably still need help. It's so small, but I'm not going to cut the video. There we are. Two cars on. Doddle. Other two cars. And all of you that have this set will know that putting it on the track is a bit of a nightmare. And remember, those that think I'm mad gluing in couplings, remember, with PVA glue, it's a case of just putting hot water on the glue, and they will come loose. And there we go. Together with the magnetic coupling. And we'll run the car. We have put people in. Bring it back round for you. And what I'll do is I'll show you it running with these couplings and you can judge for yourself. I'll do a short little video. So I'll bring it backwards and forwards. On the front you will see I've got a hunt coupling, I can paint that black when we add more stock if we do. In fact I think that's better than a hole there. I'll do another shot of this bend so you can see how the carriages look.
Now to the eye, I think the gap is pretty similar. And I'm running it really, really slowly. Let's run it the other way. I think they also the carriages look, carriages look a lot better with people in them as well. And to be honest, it puts me off using locos that have cost a lot of money, where there's a lot of fiddling to take them apart and put them back together. And as I said, with PVA glue, just put hot water on it and I can take the coupling off, should I wish to disconnect them. It's not difficult. And I'll show you it running the other way. So you can see. Nice and slowly so you can get a good view. Uh, here you can see for yourself the gap between the carriages on this bend. And here's a panorama for you with the tube stock coming round. And what I'll do is I'll run it back the other way a little bit faster. There you go. But this is what I really like about my little modification. When I finish with this, it's just a case of douche. And that's it. No messing around, no risking scratching the carriages. And I can lift it off as pairs. So easy, simple mod. And those that worry about you using glue look it's PVA you just put hot water on it should you wish to remove them easy peasy thank you for watching and I hope this little tip should you wish to do it will help with the enjoyment of your 1938 tube stock to finish off simple as douche and away we go into the sunset thank you very much for watching and I hope this video has been helpful thank you